Hi, everyone. I found another list. They, they just never seem to end. And this is a recent one from uh, February 10th of this year. The best, the, the 30 best rock bands of all time, according to Quinton Singer. He must be a singer. And uh, just letting you know, you know, I've done a lot of these lists. I, I do plan on changing it up once in a while. I don't want you know, there's, there's, I'm surprised actually that nobody's complained yet. I'm getting tired of these lists, <laughs> but they're fun for me to do when they get uh, a lot of feedback. So I shall continue. And if you come across any kind of interesting list, send it my way and I'll possibly do a video on it. So here we go. I have not checked out this. Like I said, I haven't checked out this list at all. I like to save it for doing the video. Although I have seen number 30, which is. Yeah. <laughs> Aerosmith. Not one of my favorite bands, but in the early years, I, I really did like them. Toys in the Attic is uh, probably my favorite album of theirs. And even, you know, later on, permanent vacation and get a grip. I was buying those, <laughs> but then, uh, I smartened up. <laughs> so they're number 30. I have already, I have a feeling the Beatles are not going to be number one. Maybe because I saw that picture of Led Zeppelin as a sign. Here we go. 29. ZZ Top. Yep. Great band. Uh, one of the longest running bands, of course. Sadly, Dusty Hill passed away uh, two or three years ago, but they're still hanging in there, I guess. But yeah, um, Eliminator is great. And then the earlier albums, uh, they're also great, but I, I would say I got kind of tired of them after, uh, yeah, re recycled recycler was the one where I was kind of done with them because they were just recycling <laughs> eliminator, you know, the, the sound of that album 28 Morris Gotro, his favorite band. I'm glad they're on the list for Morris. Yep, I like Tool. I don't have any of their albums anymore. I did at one point, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't play them very often, and I'd, I'd rather play something else than Tool. But, like I said, they are a very good band. Oasis. Uh, I've done some reactions to, to Oasis on Patreon, and I was really impressed with the songs I heard and some of their solo work too. But uh, just overall, I just never got into Oasis, but good to see them on the list. I know they have a lot of fans. Unfortunately, so do Kiss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like their debut album a lot. I bought it. As soon as it hit the record store back in 1974 and I bought a few of their albums, but then I gave up on them, uh, probably around the time of Lo love gun. Number 25 Radiohead. I can see them being on the list. Overall, I prefer their earlier. Well, okay. Computer is great and kid a, but still, I think I loved their earlier albums that were more guitar based. Like, uh, the Benz, which is probably my favorite album of theirs, but a great band. I'm not seeing too many issues with this list so far, even if, you know, I don't love all of the bands here. Like journey. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan. Nirvana, of course. Yep. 
cream. I like cream in my coffee and I like cream, the band. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Heart. Some of their early albums are pretty good. Uh, you know, and Magic Man and Dog and Butterfly, but they just went a little too pop for my liking. But if you like them, that's great. <sighs> I think I see Guns N' Roses in, in every list I do. Yeah. Rage Against the Machine. I never really got into that band. Of course, Canada's very own Rush, yes. Iron Maiden. Once again, you know, I really respect this band. Very talented musicians. I've seen, you know, live footage of them and heard some of their music. Not really my kind of thing, but like I said, they're still a, a great band. Yeah, you 2 as I've said many times, after the Beatles, for many, many years, it was U2. U2 were like the, the Beatles of the 80s and 90s for me. But after, well, all, all that you can't leave behind and how to dismantle a, an atomic bomb, I bought those and really liked them. But after that, I just kind of lost interest in them very rapidly. But early U2 is great. The Clash, I love The Clash. I have their box set here somewhere. Yep. My favorite album of theirs is Sandinista. The Doors. Yep. I have all of The Doors albums and so some people are, are, you know, I just read recently some viewers saying, oh, they're, they're overrated, but I don't feel that way at all. The Who, yeah. My video today on my Canadian Stub Muffin channel is uh, 12, 12 of my all-time favorite live performances. And I include a clip by The Who, because they were definitely one of the greatest live bands, especially with Keith Moon on drums, and of course, just one of the greatest bands, period. I think they could, that could be even higher than 13. Black Sabbath, love Black Sabbath. They're included in that video I just mentioned of great performances. I, I wasn't a fan after, you know, after Ozzy left Black Sabbath, I gave up on them. I was just too loyal to uh, Black Sabbath with Ozzy in the band. Number 11, yeah, Fleetwood Mac. My favorite, el well, Rumors, of course, is one of the greatest albums ever, but I think I like Tusk even a, a tad more. So here is the top 10. Hmm. Yeah, ACDC. They're included in top 12 performances on that video on my other channel. Check it out. Yeah, one of the greats. Metallica, once again, it's a band I, I respect. I've heard, you know, quite a bit of their music through the years. And I, I like the band members. I think they treat their fans really well. Uh, but they wouldn't be in my top 10. And neither would the Eagles. Yeah, I've just never been a, f a fan of the Eagles. Of course, they have a lot of great songs, but 
their music just doesn't uh, interest me that much to listen to it. They all look so happy. <laughs> yeah. Once again, Van Halen, they're great. You know, Eddie Van Halen, one of the great guitarists. And David Lee Roth, one of the great frontmen back in the day. But I do really love their debut album. But after that, I just didn't have any interest in them. Number six. Hey, the Rolling Stones. I was just listening to uh, Emotional Rescue, Some Girls, It's Only Rock and Roll, and their Satanic Request, whatever, Her ma Majesty's, I always forget how, you, <laughs> how it's said. But yeah, I listened to four or five Rolling Stones albums last night, and all of them... I feel are underrated, like Emotional Rescue. I think it's a, a great album. Goat's Head Soup. That's another one I was listening to. Yeah, wouldn't be in my top 10, but Jimi Hendrix, of course, is one of the greatest, could, could be the greatest guitarist of all time. I have no problem with people saying that. You know, I have my own personal favorites like Steve Howe of Yes, but and uh, Buck Dar Dharma from Blue Easter Cult. Got a bit of a cold still. <clears throat> but definitely a great band. Number four. Yeah, Pink Floyd. The Dark Side of the Moon, one of the greatest albums ever, in my opinion. And then their earlier stuff, of course, with Sid Barrett. I have a feeling the Beatles are coming up before number one. Oh, Queen. Yeah, Queen would def definitely be in my top ten. They're not a personal favorite, but they'd still be in my top ten because of so much talent in the band, and not just Freddie Mercury. All four band members are just so good. All right, number two. So it's the Beatles, and who else is missing here? I didn't see Yes, or King Crimson, or Sparks. Yeah, the Beatles, number two. Interesting. No, they're number one. <laughs> so th this list was was okay overall. Not like I said, not that I liked all of the bands, but the Beatles at number two is just wrong. I'm sorry. They're number one. So who's number one on this list? I'm getting mad. I'm just trying to think who's missing here. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Yeah, Led Zeppelin. The earlier picture, and it just hit me again, yeah. Well, I disagree with it, but I can't deny, like, Led Zeppelin would be in my top ten for sure. Uh, but Yeah, number one, Led Zeppelin. Do you agree with that? Let me know. So that's it. Another list done. Not a terrible list. At least Nickelback wasn't in the list. <laughs> and yeah, I would love your thoughts. Who And who, who do you think is missing from the top 30? Please remember to like the video and leave a comment below. And make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.